hey guys i hope that i'm live right now if you guys are able to hear my voice as well as there is no problem with the audio or the video please do let me know guys hello everyone i hope that i'm live right now guys if you are able to hear me properly as well as there is no problem with my audio or the video please do let me know I'm opening the live chat in my phone as well so that I'm able to see you guys are typing. Give me a second for the same. Okay, no problem. It's visible and audible as well. Great. We'll wait for two more minutes so that everyone is able to join. Very less people have joined us up till now. I'm just waiting for all the students to join us so that we are able to start with the class itself. Okay all good okay there's no issues in that great attendance link wasn't opening last class sir what should i do anshuman the attendance link was working almost 1000 students have filled up the attendance form so there was no issues with the attendance form itself okay uh, if it's showing dynamic uh, link error that means you have done a spelling mistake Guys, there are no issues. There will never be an issue with uh, attendance links from our end. Okay, it always works. Like I'm saying again and again. Okay, so the next boot camp, uh, you can start registering for the same as well. As you're able to see, the next boot camp we are going to do object detection using Python and computer vision. We are going to build a website inside of which it will access your camera and then you can scan around the entire room and it will identify that okay this is a pen this is a book this is a microphone this is a laptop this is a tablet so we'll be deploying a, a application to the web itself which will be able to get uh, like uh, it will be able to identify different objects just like uh, in airbnb okay when you are going into airbnb rooms or any oyo rooms you can use it to find the amenities okay so you are having a bed okay you are having a, a refrigerator so it will be able to identify amenities that are present in your room so that is what we are going to build it we are going to start off with python a bit of javascript and then we are going to start off with uh, computer vision and machine learning and then on the last two days we'll be doing the project so this is how I have planned uh, the next bootcamp. Uh, it is going to start from the 12th of March. Just to remind you guys that final registration is compulsory for any bootcamp. So on the once you have registered on the WhatsApp groups as well as someone from DevTown will be reaching out to you, calling you, sending you the information for final registration. So after completing your registration from the website, you also have to do the final registration as well. Okay. I'm sharing the link for the next uh, okay I've shared the link from where you can go and register for the next bootcamp okay when are we going to start off with the Net, uh, Netflix clone we are going to do that in the last two days guys first of all we need to understand the basics um, I cannot teach you how to build Burj Khalifa without teaching you the basis of construction you will be able to build something that is very shitty and without any knowledge that is not what we aim at. First of all, understanding the basics, then applying those basics to create a project. Okay, that is the aim. Okay, attendance link not able to work. Attendance link always works. There is never a problem with the attendance link, guys. Okay, yes, I am Sharasana. First day, not showing attendance form. Uh, Chandan, you have not seen the video. If that's the case, every uh, video, I show the attendance link. Okay. It's coming dynamic error. That means you have made a spelling mistake. Okay. Sir, it's showing you already registered. Okay, let me just check once. So if it's showing that you have already registered, that's great. Okay. Uh, you can fill out the entire form for the registration itself. As you are able to see, some of the students have already registered. We have got 382 registrations up till now. If you want to register for the same? Do so. Uh, attendance link is provided every single day. If you are missing out the attendance link, that means you were not attending the classes properly.
Will the certificate be useful for interns and placements? Yes, if you are completing the project, doing it properly, then it is useful. Otherwise, it's not. Because when you are showing a certificate, the uh, people, when you are giving an interview or something like that, the people who are taking your interview assumes that, okay, you have got a certificate on HTML, CSS, JavaScript, you have made a project, show me that project. You'll be like, okay, I don't have the project removed because you were lying. Okay, you know HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, tell me uh, what are the variables in JavaScript. You will be like, I don't know. Okay, you are lying. You are lying on your resume, removed from the interview. So both knowledge as well as certificates are important. If you just have the knowledge, then they won't be able to ask you the questions that, okay, I don't know which topics do you know? Where are the certificates proving that, okay, you know these topics. On the basis of that, I will be asking you the questions. Okay. Attendance link always works. There has been 1000 students who have filled up the attendance uh, form. So the attendance link always work. Attendance link won't be shared on any WhatsApp groups. There are no prerequisites for any of our events. Okay. Um, whatever we conduct, there are no prerequisites. You can directly join. We'll be teaching you from scratch. The project will be done in the last two days. No, uh, Python will also be taught in the next bootcamp. We will be starting in two to three minutes, guys. I'm just waiting for everyone to join right now. Uh, not everyone has joined us up till now. So I'm just waiting for them to join the bootcamp as well. Uh, Chirag, you don't have to worry. Okay. The project hasn't started up till now. Please be patient. Okay. And just attend the bootcamp. Uh, see, uh, somebody asking for C language bootcamp. Don't learn C language, dude. Like it's just for your colleges itself. Nobody gives a shit. If you know C, like it's obsolete in the market. No interviewer is going to ask you C questions. They will be asking you C plus plus Java, JavaScript, Python. These are the languages they may be asking, but C, come on, man. Like that's just like you're saying that, okay, I need to learn ABCD. Why do you want to learn ABCD? You, we assume that you must be knowing ABCD because that has been covered in your school itself. Okay. The certificates for the previous boot camps will be shared by tomorrow morning. Do not worry about the same. Boot camp for Java. So we are going to release uh, free uh, video tutorials for C++ and Java that have been made by people from Cisco and Google. So I think so you guys will be enjoying the same for Python, C++, Java and JavaScript. So for uh, Python and JavaScript, we'll be releasing it somewhat later on. Uh, but for C++ and Java, we are planning to release it within uh, this month itself by the end of this month for free on YouTube. You don't have to worry about that. Okay. Uh, like I said, for all the previous boot camps, the certificates will be sent by tomorrow morning. Okay. We will be learning Python, then JavaScript, and then the project in the next boot camp because we assume that the students who are coming to us don't know the basics. So we start from the absolute basics itself. Okay, so I guess not more students are going to join right now. So let's start off with our today's class. Okay. Will that be fine guys? Please let me know. Guys, should we start? Please let me know. Okay, great. So before we start, just hit the like button. It absolutely helps us a lot. Okay. And then we'll start. So first of all, hit the right button up till that point of time. I'm just opening up the code sandbox. Okay. So let me open up the code sandbox, move everything. So dashboard, we are going to use the previous one itself. Again, guys do like the video. It really helps us a lot. Okay. It does not take a lot of time from your behalf, but it really shows the difference to us as well. Okay. 
we are going to use the previous one itself as you are able to see this is just the index.html right over here that we had been using from today we are going to start off with css so if you guys remember we had previously talked about this as well can you let me know first of all what is the purpose of css files if you remember it correctly can you guys let me know what is the purpose of css file style okay that's absolutely correct so only one student had replied to the question okay okay so many of you are replying my internet is slow that's fine okay <laughs> so that's great css is used for styling you use the html to create a structure for your website then you use the css for the beautification now just like you are having this html file index.html this is where you are writing the html code similarly there is another file that you have to use so we'll create a new file Okay, create a new file from right over here. We'll name it as style.css. This is how you create a CSS file. In this particular file, we'll be writing our CSS code. So, .css is the extension for this file, stating that this is a CSS file or cascading style sheets. So, let's press enter. And as you are able to see, right now we are at CSS3. We are at the third version of CSS. And for HTML, we are at HTML5, that is, fifth version of HTML. So right over here, as you are sorry, right over here, as you are able to see, we have so I've just selected the style.css. Okay, I will close down this from here, and this is where we are going to write our CSS code. Okay, in this particular file, we are going to write our CSS code. But how will so you have created an HTML file, you have created a CSS file, but how will CSS, sorry, the HTML file. So when you are uh, creating a particular website and when you're rendering it to the uh, like page itself, so just like this, let me just open up the website in a new tab. So right over here, you are having your index.html file as you are able to see. Now, when you're going to your website, the only the index.html file is being rendered to your screen itself, nothing else. Only the HTML file is being rendered on your screen. Nothing else, guys. Please, please try to pay a lot of attention to what I'm trying to say. Now, if if I'm telling you that, okay, uh, this is a particular, I'm giving you a paper. Okay, I'm taking a paper with me. I'm giving you that paper. And I am asking you questions from another book. I've given you just one paper. I'm asking you questions from another book. You will be saying that, how will I know? How will I know the answers if you're giving me one page of written documentation and you're asking me something from something else? You need to give that book to me as well so that I'm able to refer it and answer you back. That's right. Similarly, right now, the website is rendering only the HTML page. It does not know about the CSS itself, that there is one more file, one more page, this CSS page inside of which these styles are there. So we need to tell the HTML file, we need to specify inside the HTML file that there is one more page, there's one more page that you have to render to the screen, yeah, that you have to read through, that is this CSS file. Are you able to understand what I'm trying to say? Please let me know guys, are you able to understand what I'm trying to say? Are you able to understand guys what I'm trying to say? Please let me know. Great. Yeah, Harshit, it's the link tag, but we will like, we will not go directly to that. We will slowly build it up. Are you able to understand what I'm trying to say? Okay. So everyone is writing yes. The 500 of you live right now. I need to understand that. Yes, all of you have understood. Please. I need to see 500. Yes. Otherwise I will have to repeat it. It's very important that you are able to understand concepts. Okay. So we need to specify inside the HTML file itself about the CSS file. Okay. About the CSS that there is one more file that exists, the CSS file that too you have to read. Okay. That too you have to read and understand. That is what we want to do. How to do that? How to attach CSS file.
Hello everyone. Is my voice not working properly? Okay, no issues. We will continue tomorrow, guys. Okay, I'm so sorry. There will be no attendance today. 